if if I got a cold, it would floor me for a week, like like proper flu. I mean, I'm not a great one for for, for man flu. You know, I'm you know I I, I get up and work, but uh, a, you know, a cold would would, would flatten me. A, 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 a headache would put me in, in bed throwing up everywhere. So every every little bug and illness seemed to be exaggerated, and that's that's a common ish issue with Lyme. It, it it sort of it makes everything worse. Probably more so than I'm. You know, not a naturally ill person throughout my life. You know, having spent most of my life outside, I'm fairly fit and healthy with a pretty good immune system. So. To suddenly be suffering with migraines and and flus and things did seem a, a, a little odd. I think maybe we just put it down to getting a bit old, a bit older, you know. Diagnosed in in November two thousand and seventeen, but uh, given a, a an initial small course of antibiotics because that that's all the, the 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 GPs and doctors were told to do. There's there's so little known about Lyme disease. Um, and because it was an old infection, the um, the antibiotics had almost no effect. So I was referred to a, a, a neurologist uh, that it took months to get an appointment. Um, this was May, but come June, July of last year, my symptoms had got much worse. The 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 what the stammering and the stuttering had really kicked in. Best of best of things for people are you know if you suspect you've been bitten. Go and visit your, your 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 GP as soon as possible. Um, l- you know, l- look up um, th- th- on things like the the Lyme Disease UK website. There's invaluable information there about prevention. Um, very very good information about tick removal and you know uh, symptoms checking. You know, a wealth of information um, out there. Um, if you know if so you know cover up better take precautions and you know go straight to your your gp if you do if you have been bitten or show any symptoms and you are worried you know don't don't leave it